Welcome to Gus's Movie Review. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Revenant starring Leonardo DiCaprio. Now, The Revenant is based on the true story of Hugh Glass, a fur trapper in the 1800s. And to honor Hugh Glass, I decided to do this review out here in the elements. Uh, we're going to brave it because it is pretty freaking cold out here. But you guys did bring some hot chocolate, right? Seriously? You guys, who forgot the hot chocolate? What the f***? You guys suck d your job. Like most people, I know that because it's based on a true story, it's 100% true. Therefore, we know that a fur trapper who looked a lot like the guy from Titanic was mauled by a bear and left for dead by his co-workers. What followed was an unbelievable tale of survival and revenge. Also based on a true story, when Hugh Glass was in elementary school, the other kids called him Huge Ass. You know, it's hard to be funny when you're cold. I'm freezing my balls off over here. So if you've seen the movie Castaway with Tom Hanks and thought to yourself, man, I wish they would take that volleyball away from him, you're going to love The Revenant. And you're one sadistic bastard. I have no idea how they shot half of this movie. Where do you get a bear that big and aggressive and it doesn't kill someone? <sighs> yeah, wrong bear. Equally disturbing, but wrong bear. You know, people complain about a lot of things. They say, I work too much, my food is cold, traffic sucks. Bitches. All of us, bitches. Try being a fur trader in the 1800s. Hey, Star Wars, this isn't about you right now. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. Ugh. It's about Hugh Glass and a big, scary grizzly bear. You know, I don't know what kind of budget we have for this, but we should get an extreme close-up of a big, scary grizzly bear and then play that right here. <laughs> the movie was beautifully shot. It's the kind of movie that's going to be playing in a TV section at Best Buy in a couple of years. And there's a lot of Oscar buzz about it right now, too. The Revenant is nominated for 12 Academy Awards, and I think it's pretty safe to assume it's all for white people. And as we know, pretty people have to ugly themselves up if they want a chance to win an Oscar. And Leo was very good in this, and he was also pretty beat up and dirty and had the chap lips going. But let's be honest, even a dirty Leo is probably banging a supermodel. Hell, he could probably talk the bear into a three-way if he wanted to. Rawr. Yeah, I'm going to have a hard time sleeping that off. <laughs>